didn't tell us we were starting oh yet. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, we'll be right back. Hey everybody, Thomas Hi. and Krista here with Throne Builders for wait, the weekly... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are, are, we, are we ignoring the fact that that just happened? Yes. No, because as yes, the, as, yes, we are. No, mm -hmm. see, as, very yeah, good. As the cameraman, what is he talking about? As the cameraman, that's permanently seared into my mind now. I, and then I have to edit it, and then I just, yeah, I have to have a. It's, is he whining? No, I'm not. I, I, He's I, thought we, I thought we were blocking him out. I quit. Uh, I'm, I blocked him. I'm quitting. Okay. Deliver the video. Okay. Well, thank God, finally that's over with. Now yeah. we can get back to the prophetic word for Father's Day week, 2018. Tom's back. Did you notice? I'm back. He's and back. Um, lipstick is surprisingly hard to get off. <laughs> um, you ladies knew that, but it's a new experience for me. <laughs> um, so anyways, I had a wonderful time in Africa. You may have noticed that last week we did not have a prophetic word on our channel yeah. and I uh, was kind of surprised we didn't get inundated with emails like, where's your word for the week? Yeah. But uh, as I was returning to the States, I actually uh, was in the middle of developing a full-blown bout of some pretty nasty food poisoning. Mm -hmm. and by the time I got back into America... No. Last Thursday, <laughs> uh, I was so dehydrated and so sick that yeah. it literally took me four days just to get somewhat normal again. Yeah. And uh, still recovering, still very weak and tired and, and uh, going through some tired. <laughs> digestion issues and stuff. So be careful when you go out of country. I tried to eat at good places, but apparently... Yeah even though they might look good, they not, aren't necessarily. So uh, we're we, learning from all this. We're very much learning from all this. So thank you for <laughs> all your prayers. I go over there. <laughs> thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for all the motivation. Thank you for the donations, helping with yeah. the trip. Yeah, uh, we're so you. grateful for everything that all of you did to bless us while we were in the process of introducing throne builders uh, in Africa, Kenya and Uganda. Yeah. Had some wonderful meetings. Saw yeah. the Holy Spirit bring a lot of change to the way that people think about right. and approach the kingdom of heaven on earth. Earth. Mm -hmm. And it was a tremendous opportunity to really challenge mindsets. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever had a time in my life when speaking where I had as much uh, uh, revelation download as I was speaking. There was a lot of great free flow. Right. And a lot of the things that I would find myself saying as they were coming out of my mouth, I was like, oh, God, are you sure we want to say <laughs> that now? Uh, but the right. results were always very positive, yeah. always very good. Mm -hmm. uh, gained at least uh, three new ministry partners that are actually want to be a part of Throne Builders. And as we release our training material coming up here mm -hmm. in the next couple of months, yeah. they're going to be a part of that mm -hmm. and actually teach our material to their churches and help their people get their changing, uh, their thinking changed so that <laughs> they can come up into the things that God has in store for them. Right. So while Tom was gone in Africa, I had to learn how to do a lot of things by myself. And what I mean by that is like, I took over doing a lot of the phone calls. I took, you know, took over doing a lot of the prophetic words and we were already doing those things together. But when he left, it was, he didn't have good internet. So I was, you know, having to take over a lot of that. And you know, what happened is I learned so much from that process and I became honestly a new person. Uh, I realized that, um, you know, sometimes you do have to separate to do works, you know, especially with what we're trying to do, because we're trying to establish roots as well in Africa as we are in America. So it's been really, uh, the last five weeks have been really interesting, I would say, and very, uh, in some ways, very emotionally um, changing for me, because um, I went through something that was really traumatic. It lasted for about 10 days during that five-week period, and you've heard me talk about a little bit of it on the last week's word. And, um, you know, it was more about the Father showing me how, um, you know, I was asking him questions like, why hasn't this particular thing you've shown me, why hasn't this happened in my life? I've been waiting a long time for some of these things, and I felt like I have been prepared for these things. And I'm saying this because a lot of you out there right now, you feel the same way as I do. You're like, well, geez, I've been waiting so long for all these things, and what's the deal? Why is it taking so long? And you have heard me say this on other videos, but I want to share with you something, something new that God showed to me in this last five weeks. You know, there are certain things that you're destined to do and your calling, your mandate, right. and your niche of this world. And it's not a matter that you're not going to do them, and it's not a matter that you're going to have to wait forever. It has nothing to do with that. But what it does have to do with is the Father is trying to bring you up to a new level of glory. You know, we're supposed to be going from glory to glory. We're supposed to be living our lives growing as we go. Just like Jesus had to grow in wisdom and stature, we have to do that too. And sometimes we think we're ready for things and then we start to realize 
oh my gosh, there is parts of our identity, and this is what happened to me in the last five weeks. There's parts of our identity that we did not know were hidden over or that were covered um, or that were even there, right? God showed me something very strongly about my anointing with wealth that I did not really realize was there. And this was part of what I went through. And if you watched last week's or our June word, you'll see that I talk a lot about wealth on there. So this is one of the things he showed to me that was so eye-opening for me. I learned a new level of my identity in this last five weeks. And I realized the steps and the order that God is bringing me to and the testings even, because sometimes he wants to see if we're going to be obedient to him. You know, we might hear something from the Lord, but hearing it and doing it is two separate things. Some of us hear very well, but then we're afraid to step out and take risks. We're afraid to obey the steps that he's given to us. And here's, here's the thing. He wants to know that you're going to obey what he tells you to do, not because he's some angry, um, you know, upset guy up there who is just like, do it my way or else. No, it has nothing to do with that. Right. Your obedience has directly to do with your blessings. That's obedience right. is where your blessings are. Because it's the path that he's trying to get you on to get you to that successful lifestyle that you've seen in your dreams and in your visions. You can only get there through the steps that he tells you to take by listening to that still small voice and, and going in those directions. And yes, that's going to require you to be confident in yourself and your identity. And that's the key right there. Some of you don't know who you are. That's right. You have a partial view of who you are, but you don't have a full view of who you are. And until that happens, until you start to see the full view, you're not going to be able to really flow in your anointing and that successful lifestyle that you've seen. You're not going to be able to flow in that because you've got to be prepared. You've got to be ready. You know, you've got to have your own testimonies, right? Because people, when they look at people, they say, hey, I like that person or I admire that person because yes, they overcame, but they've got testimonies to share. They have the real, true, living God working in their lives. They know who they are. They know where they're going, right? So that's the people we want to become. But it's going to come through those steps of obedience, it's going to come from hearing that still small voice and saying, you know what? I can do this, God, because you, you've told me this is who I am and you've backed, you've backed me up already. I don't have to be afraid to step out. So just consider that part of your identity needs to be shown to you so that you can walk in the fullness of your destiny. That's right. Again, in this process of learning how to walk in who you are and become who you really are, you know, you already are who you are, but then learning how to be that person and actually experience that person in this process, you will have a great confirmation mm -hmm. as to whether or not you are on the right track. And here's the confirmation. Right. You will have enemies come out of the woodwork to <laughs> accuse you. So true. To condemn you. This is good. Not, uh, you know, when we first left the religious system, the fundamental Baptist church system that we were part of. Right. And God began to radically challenge our views immediately. Yeah. Just coming out of the church system by itself was tremendous. Right. Of all the hundreds of friends that we thought we had, right. not one of them. Not one yeah. ever came to us and said, right. we're concerned. Not one. Right. Uh, they either completely blocked us from their lives right. or they rose up with other people to speak evil of us, to yeah. accuse us. Mm -hmm. There was never the mark of love that said, listen, Tom, Krista, family, I'm concerned that you're departing from the faith or that you're going into error, or that right. you're in deception or whatever. None of that ever happened. Not once. Right, Not that's one a, person. That's what you would do if you cared about somebody. If you right? care about someone that's going out of the right. way, you go to them and do. talk to them. Right. But they never did that. Right. And what we've discovered throughout the years, and this has been happening to us very recently, yeah. uh, is that when God is really trying to confirm something in our lives and show us where we are on track with him, yeah. he will almost always allow a spirit of accusation. It's not even that. It's that as God moves in us to, to really firm some things up, that confidence that is being developed in us, that is being projected from us, yeah. it acts like a lighthouse and it begins to <laughs> it attract. Does. It's right. like a beacon attracting Can, can I give them an example? Of course. I've got the perfect example. It's the and, perfect example. And he probably has one You too. are about to hear the perfect example. There could not be a better example than this. I'm feeling like I'm getting mocked at the moment. Okay. Um, so remember I, was, remember I was just sharing with you about financial, about God showed me my financial anointing that's on me that I kind of knew was there, but didn't realize how big it was and didn't realize that it's, it's a real thing that I'm going to be doing. 
I am doing now, just not on the levels I want to be doing it, but it's happening, okay? So here's the thing. As soon as I awaken to this epiphany, you know, that we get sometimes where, oh, wow, I, this is who I am. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This would make me happy. This is how I'm going to help so many people. And, and, and even the father starts to show you, hey, you'll be good at this because you were, you were born for this. When that happens, what like he said, this, so, somehow there's this beacon that comes out of us, you know, and I think it, it happens in the spiritual realm. And all of a sudden on some of my YouTube channel uh, videos and then even on Facebook, I've been getting so attacked. And would you know that the exact comments are attacking me about finances? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, I never got those comments before. Not any other, we've been doing videos for a long time. That's Never right. got comments about finances before. And these were not just people saying, I'm concerned, or can you, can you tell me why you believe this? They're just outright telling me I'm Satan and that I'm, you know, all these horrible things. It's a straight out attack, which is definitely not the love of Christ. Because if you care about somebody, you'll go to them in private, you'll talk to them, you'll, you'll try to learn from each other, right? That's the way it works. But just to outright accuse and be nasty and mock people, that's not the spirit of the Lord. That's right. Uh, anytime accusation is present, it is satanic. Yeah. So all you little devils out there that keep <laughs> leaving your little nasty comments, your hateful, spiteful, ungodly yeah. little comments on our YouTube channel, thank you for confirming to us Amen. that the enemy is disturbed because yeah. as your father, he's working in you to point the finger in accusation. Yeah, right. If you had the love of Christ, you'd message and say, hey, I'm just yeah. concerned about this or can you explain more? Yeah. But because you don't have the love of the father in you, yeah. you operate after the love of darkness and you, mm. you walk in that. But yeah. by doing that, you're a confirmation to throne builders right. that we're on the right track. And for all of you watching this video, and you're surrounded by accusation right now and people are just seem, seem to be standing up for no reason to right. put you down, to put you in your place, right. to correct you, right. uh, you're on track. You're right on the path that you yeah. need to be on and there's, yeah. their voices are confirming to you. That's right. Now, if someone comes to you... A, I always tell people when, when accusation arises, mm -hmm. don't just blanket discount it. Right. You listen, can learn. Listen to what's being said yeah. because there are areas that God will correct us and yeah. move us in. Through our enemies. Uh, often. Even through our enemies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't just blanket discount. Consider what's being said. Mm -hmm. But as you know that God has been leading you, you know he's been working in you to get you where you are. Don't give place to the fear because that's right. what happens when accusation comes. Mm -hmm. Fear yeah. that you're on the wrong track. Don't let that get a hold of you. Just know that your father is yeah. firming things up for you right now. And because yeah. of the confidence being developed in your spirit, it is exuding this yeah. confidence and attracting destroyers that want to tear you down because they despise the anointing. Yeah. So, I don't know how many times I've met somebody, you know, and I mean, we meet a lot of people out there who some of these people are the sweetest people you ever would meet. And they are the most generous people you would ever meet. But yet they are the ones who seem to always get attacked for no good reason. Just like this onslaught of all this negativity. Yeah. And I just want to let you know that that is part of the anointing that you carry. That keep, Think about it this way. Somebody said this to us one time and it really, really helped us. When your anointing is strong and you have things that you know you've been called to do in this earth that are big, um, and we all have big works to do, by the way, um, what it does is it kind of puts a beacon out in the spiritual realm, and that attracts some of these haters, some of these jealous spirits, I like to call them, and they come around because, you know, maybe their life is not the way they wanted it, or maybe they don't even know they're being stirred up to do it, and they just start attacking because our light exposes the darkness right. around us. And that's not an arrogant statement. That's a very biblical statement. That's a very righteous statement because, you know, our light, you know, when we, when we come into a dark place, what does it do? It lights up the room. And if something is chaos or something's out of order, our light is going to make a difference in that place. That's right. Yeah. So the prophetic word for this week is a word of encouragement to you. Yeah. God is building you and strengthening you. He's confirming the anointing on your life right now. Right. And in this process, you're going to attract negativity. Yeah. Let that be a confirmation to you. But at the same time, it's going to attract some good people. Oh, yeah. So be encouraged throughout the, the persecution. That's why Jesus said, you know, rejoice and be exceedingly glad because your reward is great in heaven. Heaven's here now. It's not something right. you're waiting for. Yeah. Your reward is great right now. 
now, that's right. why people are standing up to speak evil of you. And within that persecution, we're going up the levels of glory, like I talked right. about earlier, right? And it's building us into a stronger, more wise people right. that can handle the vision that we've been given. That's right. Mm -hmm. So today, our family is going to be going out and celebrating Father's Day, <laughs> Mother's Day, wow. and uh, our middle child's birthday. Yeah. And on Mother's Day, neither me or my wife even had the presence of mind to realize it's Mother's Day <laughs> and to wish all of you a happy Mother's Day. And so we wanted to apologize for that now. Uh, yeah. You mamas are obviously so crucial and so important. Yeah. And uh, so thank you so much for giving us the liberty and that oversight. Mm -hmm. And also would like to wish all you men a happy Father's Day. Amen. And if it wasn't for the mommies and the daddies, um, none of us would be here. <laughs> so it's important that so you're here. True and so deep. And, uh, <laughs> my time in Africa gave me much time for reflection <laughs> but uh, anyways uh, we love you all very much um, listen uh, go to our website thronebuilders.org you can click the link below in the description yeah. you become one of our partners Amen. and uh, uh, be, be a part of what God is doing in Throne Builders to help liberate the minds and the hearts of people yeah. and uh, we also have a Patreon account here on YouTube it's five dollars a month is what we're asking for yeah. and every one of you could afford to do something like that not putting pressure on you at all but do it uh, I mean um, not putting pressure on you but uh, if you feel so led we'd be grateful for that also Mm -hmm. uh, we offer personal prophetic words and, and phone consultations with people. So on our website, mm -hmm. on the homepage, uh, please sign up for this and, yeah. and uh, sow a financial seed into your breakthrough and let us have a part ministering to yeah. you. We yeah. have all kinds of people all over the world that have been blessed and that we've been blessed by knowing and ministering yep, to true. them. So. We, we pretty much do it all. Like people ask me, hey, yeah. what, what do you guys do? Uh, we do it all. And that's, you know, it's a funny statement, but it's like, if you need help with your, you know, your business, your health, your uh, relationships, whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. We're here for you right. and we have the Holy Spirit to help us. And so we can get this thing done and we can see new levels of victory in your life. And we're excited to be a partner with you to do that. So thank you for considering doing right. that. So like, yep. subscribe. <laughs> And comment below. Nice comments, like you actually, you know, are a nice person. Or questions. Or questions yeah. or challenges. That's fine. Just don't yeah. have to have a crappy attitude with it. Uh, <laughs> but comment below and let us know uh, your thoughts. And yeah. uh, we look forward to hearing from you. God bless everybody. Have a great week. Bye.